What's up, YouTube? It's Andrew back with another tutorial. Today we got Sweet Child of Mine Part Two. We're going over the rhythm, okay? So the rhythm is pretty simple. It's three to four chords, mainly three, but you know you got to get that fourth one every now and then. And if you've seen the uh, beginner videos, then you should know all these chords too. So let's get it started. It starts with a D chord. Back to D. And if you want to get a little fancy with it, you can take your, your uh, middle finger off on the D and then put it back and then put your pinky on the third fret of the high E as well. Just kind of switch it up a little bit. Add that pointer finger laid on the C. So that D, I'm gonna put a picture of that chord right here for you guys. So it's gonna be pointer finger on that, wow, as soon as my leg. <laughs> Anyways, it's gonna be pointer finger on the G string, second fret, middle finger is going down on the high E string, second fret, and then our ring finger is on the third fret of the B string. Drum in every string except for the low E at the top. And then for that C chord, I'm gonna put the picture of that chord up as well. We got our ring finger on the third fret of the A string. Middle finger is on the second fret of the D, and then pointer finger is on the first fret of the B. Playing every string here. And then lastly, our G. I'm gonna put a picture of that one up as well. Middle finger on the third fret of the E string, the low E string on top. Pointer finger is going on the second fret of the A, and we are gonna have our, you can do it one of two ways. Just the ring finger on the third fret of the high E, or you can put the ring finger on the third fret of the B string and throw that pinky underneath of the third fret of the high E. Gives you a little bit more ring up to you guys as far as the strumming now in the real song um basically it's all electric not really acoustic so they're just really just hitting the notes stuff like that now if you're doing an acoustic version i'd recommend you know hitting some like some more like harder strums i guess you could say like she's got a smile instead of just like one every now and then for the electric. That's just my opinion though, so you can really make this song your own with the strumming patterns that you pick. So, I mean, I wouldn't recommend anything in particular, just have a little bit of fun with it, you know? So yes, and then eventually, when you get to that little pre-chorus where he's like, whoa, 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 sweet child of mine. That is going to be where we starting off at A, the A chord. So I'm gonna put a picture of that one up too. So it's gonna be, these three fingers here, we have our middle finger on the third fret of D, and we're gonna slide that over a little bit towards the left-hand side of the fret, so you have room for your other fingers. Ring finger is going on the second fret of the G, and then pinky on the second fret of the B. So you can see how that kind of looks like a staircase, so not like all stacked, but moving up, so to speak. For pre-course. So that is A to C to D. The strum for that is just that. So down. Let that D ring, baby. Now, um, hmm, this video is not that long, so let me show you a little bit of the lead as well. So while one guitar is doing that whole part right there, the other guitar is doing this. And that's the whole, whoa, oh, 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 sweet child of mine. 
Excuse my singing, I'm super thirsty. So, to show you guys that part, you remember the intro, right? Just like that. So, we're gonna do the same thing as the intro. The only difference is we're moving the whole intro up one string each. So, instead of starting on the D of the uh, 12th fret, we're starting on the A of the 12th fret. We're gonna hit that same pattern as the intro, like this that we already went over. All we're doing is moving up. We're starting at the A. Sorry guys, can't really see. Just like that. And then we are going to be, let me play it real quick. And then we're going back to the, uh, we're still in the D string, but we're heading back to the 10th fret right here. We're gonna do that same shape. Hold on. And then we're heading back to that original from the intro. So I believe each one is twice. Just like that. And on that very last one, you'll just end right there. On that 15th of the B string right there. So that part may look super confusing, but I mean, once you have the intro down, you are good to go. All you gotta do is move it around a little bit, so you just have to get used to that. So just remember, we're gonna be moving it up to the A string, still on 12, moving it, and then we're starting back on the D. It's gonna be on the 10th fret, and then we're going back to 12 where the intro is, for that little part there. So this has been part two, hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely get this down because we got the solos coming up. That's gonna be the best part. And even if you're a beginner, you can still try to learn these. If you're more intermediate, they shouldn't be too bad either. So guys, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it as always. Leave some comments below of whatever. Hmm. Comment what? Comment your favorite superhero, okay? Yeah, do that. And then, you know, just have a great rest of your day. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Have a good one.